So let's try here on um, Asus ROG uh, Allied its game and let's play it uh, with uh, high quality graphics and 1080p resolution. So this is the option 3 to lost signal. Let's uh, let's go here to graphics. Here I have um, 1080p high quality graphics. And let's see the game. operational. Doesn't look like the lamp works anymore. Is this? Where am I? Bury me. Where you can't see I can hear you all right. Um, over. Awesome. Leslie probably told you we're an environmental group. Local governments will contract us to study the effects of deforestation or noise pollution. But my specific area of expertise is in strange or otherwise unique natural phenomena. Electrogravity, ion winds, you know, stuff like that. Now, over the last few months, Kamina has been overrun with disruptions in the electromagnetic spectrum. These frequencies act like radio waves, but as far as we know, aren't. And they're messing with the town's comm equipment, TV stations, even air traffic signals. The transmitters you'll place will relay any signals back to us so we can study them. Got it? Over. OK. 
Okay. All right. That uh, makes sense, I think. I think I remember doing something like this in a high school science class. Yeah, it's a little weird, right? Hopefully this sort of thing is interesting to you. Your transmitters and climbing gear for the rocky terrain are being held with the very polite manager of the general store. Should be right in the center of the harbor. Go get them and then call me back, okay? Oh, and before I forget, uh, you have a walkie-talkie. You'll be using it to keep in contact with me and anyone else you need to chat with. Uh, do you need me to go over the basics of how to use it? Uh, no, that's all right. I think I got the hang of it. Over. All right, great. Okay, I think we've covered everything. Well, nice to meet you, Riley, even if not in person yet. Let me know when you got your gear, okay? General store. Okay, over and out. Huh, doesn't look like anyone's here. Uh, I should probably call Evelyn and let her know. Hey, Evelyn. Is there, like, what is this? A flyer? Learn about our free soul body health class. Luna has the power to heal. Join parentage. Keep to the stars. Blood, moon, tide. Huh. Anyways, Riley, it should be okay if the general store is closed. Your partner, Jacob Summers, will have a transmitter you can use. You'll see him on your way to Camber Cape. Got it? Oh, uh, okay. Bob, what about the climbing gear? Don't I, uh, don't we need that? Well, if Jacob gets his truck fixed, that'll help mitigate the need. But regardless, we'll have you do a simple one tonight that doesn't require climbing. Tomorrow you can start on the bad boys. Sorry, Riley. Uh, one sec. That can't be right. Those readings don't make any sense. Reset the processor. No, the rate of decline's upside down. Hey, uh, Evelyn, is everything all right? Sorry, Riley, I gotta go, but uh, real quick, you have your map with you, right? Pull it out for a second. So, as you can see, there's a lot of land to cover, and a lot of it is inaccessible unless you have climbing gear. All those rocks and cliffs and crap are too dangerous without rope and anchors. But Jacob's still at Copper Creek Trail, northwest of where you're at right now. Take the road, and you'll get there pretty quick. Also, by the way, your map has a lot of useful information. Don't be afraid to whip it out if you ever get lost or forget what you're doing. Okay, I'll call you later when you're with Jacob. Thanks, Riley. Over and out. No, this definitely isn't the right size, no. Or having some car trouble? Yeah, <laughs> how can you tell? You're Riley, right? I'm Jacob. Evelyn let me know you were on the way. Uh, you, you, you kind of caught me in the middle of... <laughs> this is embarrassing. I can't get my truck to start. Yeah, this uh, was going to be our ride around town for the job, but... Oh, uh, do we need it? I, I think they hired me mostly because I had a truck. <laughs> so, maybe? L let's, uh, let's try something, though. The key's in the ignition. Could you just start up the engine real quick? I'm trying to see if it's the, uh... Um, sure, what the hell? Oh, thanks. It's just, I don't know what the issue is. Turn, turn it off. Back. Well, thanks. I won't even try to explain what happened. I can't even pretend. Oof. Sorry, dude. That sucks. Ah, it's all right. She gave me eight crappy years, which was more than I expected. Anyway, you help me out. I think we can call time of death on this one. Riley and Jacob, did you guys meet up yet? Hey, Evelyn. Yeah, you got Riley and Jacob here. Over. Okay, great. Hi, Jake. Jake's great. He's a handyman regularly, but we were lucky to get his help with this. Your truck ready? You guys good to go? Uh, not yet, Evelyn. Jacob's truck was struck down by a mysterious illness. I think the engine's fried. Is our first transmitter point far? Over. Uh, kinda. It's Camper Cave. We want to try and get as much over-air traffic as we can. 
I see now why you asked if I had an all-terrain vehicle. Yeah, it's a lot easier with a ride, but... Oh, well, can't we fix the truck? Call a tow company or something? Uh, we, we kind of have to get started. Our permits are only good for the next two days. You two are going to be planting transmitters all around Kamina. Jacob, you have transmitters, right? Uh, just one. Riley, I'm strapped for space, so uh, could you grab the transmitter? Oh, uh, okay. This thing? I think I have the space. I promise I won't think of you as our pack mule. Why even say that? Oh, neat. One tonight, and a few more tomorrow when the general store opens. Okay, guys, I feel good about this. Really. Jacob, Riley, have any questions? I don't think I have any questions, no. All right, guys, good luck. Let me know if you run into any trouble or have any future questions. I'll be on most of the night. Okay, Evelyn, see ya. Oh, uh, Riley, real quick before we go. You see that radio on my truck? Uh, can you grab it? Yeah, yeah sure thing. Thanks. Hey, try it out. This far from town, we won't get the whole range, but I think we can get the uh, local baseball game. The tune it to 93.7. Yeah, it, it should be on. I'm in the cheap seats. This is David Rath. Bottom of the announcement. I used to watch crayfish games with my older brother like 20 years ago. But uh, thanks. It, it sounds great. Okay, my foot camber cape is up this way. Shouldn't take too long. So, uh, Evelyn, she's, she's a little funny, right? She ran me through the job a week ago, and she's definitely a character. Yeah, she's definitely a type. I feel like you see Evelyn's running stores that sell nothing but Christmas stuff all year round. <laughs> Yeah, a little. Hey, uh, this is a really stupid time to bring this up, but but when I heard your name, oh, yeah. Riley, I... Well, do, do you remember junior year? This is Osmore's English class and uh, EE fifth period. We, we went to high school together. I dated your friend, uh, uh, Patty. Yeah. Peanut butter Patty. We ran in different circles, but... I just wanted you to know that I knew we knew each other. That's all. Okay, we knew each other. <clears throat> so, uh, hi, I'm Jacob. Nice to meet you. Uh, first day on the job topics. I'm what you call an independent contractor. You know, light fixtures, building a deck. But I signed up for this partly because of how weird everything's been. It, it's, it's why I brought the radio, actually. Evelyn won't get into it, but you can tune into super strange stuff if you know how to find it. Really? Like, what? The stations seem pretty normal to me. A lot of static, but... That's just because of where we are. But, if you try in a good spot... It used to happen just on Edwards Island. It was a sort of inexplicable audio-visual phenomenon. Using any old radio, you could tune into physical objects. I'm curious if we'll get readings from the island. But I, I guess we'll see. The effects, though, that radio effects, has kind of bled from the island to around here now. 